You may have seen this in movies. People saying they must get to an overpass ahead of a tornado. But this has led to the question, should I find an overpass in a tornado? So let's verify. Our sources for this are Dr. Harold Brooks, a senior research scientist from the Severe Storms Laboratory and members of the First Coast News weather team. We can verify it is not safe to go under an overpass in a tornado. Going under an overpass is just not a good idea for tornado safety. Um, what, what we really want to think about with what makes something safe in a tornado is we're worried about horizontal winds. And so we're worried, about, we're not worried so much about debris falling on top of you. We're worried about stuff blowing sideways at you. Uh, an underpass can often act kind of as like a tunnel almost for winds. The winds can actually sometimes speed up and converge. Uh, so it could sometimes be more dangerous uh, underneath an overpass than actually if you were outside the overpass. Outside of this funneling effect, Dr. Brooks also brings up ethical issues of stopping under an overpass as you can block the roadway. Uh, and in fact, that happened on May 3rd, 1999 in the Oklahoma City area was that essentially people, had, some people actually had actually driven to an overpass. Other people just stopped on the highway and there was a family that was, they were just driving through and they had no intention of stopping, but the road was completely blocked. And so they had no choice but to get out of their vehicle. And um, one of the, the mother of the family was killed uh, attempting to get under the overpass. Instead, our sources say you should find a sturdy building or a low lying area to take shelter. Go to the sturdy building. Absolutely, absolutely. To me, whether you're in a car, whether you're uh, out at the soccer field, uh, and you're looking at the underpass and you're looking at a sturdy building, please go to the sturdy building. With your Verify, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.